talking. I'm going to be talking to At Spreezy today. That's At Spreezy, and I'm looking forward to it. I've been waiting a long time. So I'm going to add her to the live now, ask her a few questions, find out a bit more about her and her fitness lifestyle. I'm excited. Okay, my camera's trying to mess up. Wait a minute. <laughs> hey, hello! Oh, nice. I've got another car one. Sorry, my camera is really trying to be a hater this afternoon. How are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm actually headed to the gym. I'm, oh, I could have guessed that. I could have guessed yeah. that, man. Are you looking fresh, man? Or are you going to go do a, a session for competing or is just like a personal session? No, it's just, well, everything I do is for competing. So it's kind of on one of those, you know, going to the gym to be better. We're going to do legs. So Yeah. You do legs? Yeah. I got legs. Oh, today. wow. Yeah, your legs are millions and millions of beautiful beautiful legs you've got beautiful legs thank you beautiful legs be- you've got the best back that i've ever seen like <laughs> thank you <I laughs> when it comes to I, the ladies it's literally i just do pull-ups all day do 100 pull-ups pull up. a day how much can you do a hun- i do 100 a day 100 a day girl a oh day. my god that's amazing that's why yes. your back looks so amazing. So I'm going to ask you a few questions today because um, we want to find okay. out a bit more about you and the stuff okay. that you're doing for us in the industry. So could you tell everybody who you are and a bit about what you do? Okay, so uh, my name is Spree. Um, I go by Spreezy. Some people call yeah. me Raz. It all depends on how you feel. <laughs> um, <laughs> I am an IFBB pro figure competitor. So I compete at a very high level now. Um, so we do, I'm a part of the bodybuilding community, fitness trainer, TikToker, funny. <laughs> you are. <laughs> yeah, and I love that about you. Like, you're always showing your personality in your videos, regardless of if yeah. they're funny or not. But the one with your mom that you did the other day was funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I try to prank my mom all the time. But sometimes yeah. we fall for it. Other times. Yeah. She tried to, she cussed me out, so I can't post the one yeah. that she cussed me out on. <laughs> you should, you should. You and know what's funny? Um, she knew you were lying. What would you say? I said, I'd say? be banned with all the cussing she'll do. Yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or your fans, followers would be like, wow, boy, your mom's gangster. But yeah, she knew that you right. was lying, because straight away, when you was like, come on, mom, come on, she's looking at you like, <laughs> girl, you go yeah, yourself. <laughs> She knew I was like, she's like, yes, yeah, you don't fight no more. Yeah. Just sit down. I know. Yeah. He knew. Oh, your mom's lovely, man. It was good to yeah. see your, um, you sharing that as well. Um, when did you start the, um, jo- when did you join the fitness industry? So I've been an athlete since I was six years old. I'm, I'll be 31 in November. Um, I ran track, uh, elite track for 17 years. Um, and then I was injured, getting ready to go to the Olympic trial. And so I took a year, about a year and a half off just to recover. Um, it just so happened I was working out so much to where I got too big to run track. So I've been oh. competing for the past six years. Oh, wow. Do you mind if I ask your age? Sorry, I'm sweating here. I got I'm, excited to start to sweat. No, you're good. I'm, I'll be 31 in November. I'm 30 right oh, now. Oh, wow. You look re. I thought you. Oh, my God. So I'm thinking you're <laughs> a young girl. I'm, well, you're young now, but I thought you was like yeah. 21, just getting into the industry. But something said to no. me, this lady has been doing it from she was young. Like, you can see. Like, you can yeah. see it's part of your lifestyle. Wow. I thought you was way younger than that. Okay. Oh, now no, I can no, just no. talk to you like you're my little sister. Yeah. yeah, my, little, yeah my, my, my mom was 31. Yeah. 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 Oh, nice. And um, what's your um, title? Because you, um, you coach, you PT. Tell us what other stuff um, you do. So outside of being a professional by a professional competitor, I do mm-hmm. personal training as well. I do online training. Um, I'm a posing coach. Um, I, I, also, I mean, outside of fitness, I am a DOT driver for Amazon. So I drive the really big trucks for Amazon. Oh, you're um, so cool. Yeah, and then... But yeah, most of, most of it is just more so just coaching. So I do more like competition coaching, competition posing outside of my actual bodybuilding competition days. 
What made you want to get into the posing? Just because you're already bodybuilding? Is that because you're talented? Yes. So for posing, it's because it, when you're competing, you're um when you're competing, you really will see a lot of people who posing is kind of off. I'd be like, I just want to help you. I just yeah. Think, posing, yeah. Posing is a. It takes a lot to do for one. You use every muscle just to stay in there and flex. But also, when it doesn't complement your body, you can you can have yeah. the best body, but your posing is off, so you can't complement it the best way that you can. Yeah, and and what's the best way to um emphasize your hips and your butt? As far um, so I do a lot of lunges, a lot of lunges, like a lot. Okay, I can lunge, I can lunge for maybe four hundred meters. Wow. Um, I want to yeah, see you do lunge. that. That I is can awesome. for days. Yeah. Um, a lot of lunges, a lot of abductors, so like inner thigh um, movement, outer thigh movement, just for those glutes and for your hips, to, uh, just to give you that, like that, that you that's, know? Yeah, yeah, I know. That yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of your followers said, yes, posing will make or break your stage presence. Yeah, Facts. that is genetic. I want her to step back on stage one day, but you know, I'll put that out yeah. there. So you d okay? Um, how long did you t did it take you to see results when you first started bodybuilding? So, um, like I said, I was injured from track, and I literally was just working out, just trying to get stronger. Um, what injury was it? What it was injury? It was a hamstring oh. pull. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was just trying to get back in shape and everything. And my first year, somebody asked me to, like, you should compete. And I was like, mm, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't want to mm -hmm. know. And I will have to say, I started it probably May of 2016. And my first show was October of 2016. Wow. Mm hmm you And I what? just cause I was I was already working out and I was like, Well, I don't know what I'm doing. I'ma just <laughs> work out. <laughs> I'ma just yeah. work out and see where it go. Cause I knew the body I had to the body that I had to portray, but I didn't know how to get it. So I was like, Well, if I need shoulders, let me just do shoulders. If I need yeah. legs, let me do legs. So yeah. I just kind of just grind from there. Over time, I learned, but to get the body I'm in right now, it took a lot of trial and error. Yeah. Um, a lot of success stories as well. Um, but the body I'm in right now compared to last year, it took me literally one year. So it just takes consistency at the end of yeah. the day. A lot yeah. of consistency. Mm -hmm. How much time did, um, do you go gym a week time? So I go to the gym six days a week. Six days a week. Um, depending on the week, I may yeah. be there twelve times a week. That, do you know what? That's that's really good for someone, for you, because for who you are, because you're in my eyes, you're like a celebrity pro, <laughs> IFB pro. No, you are, you are. If you keep yeah. going, that's where you're definitely heading, because you're already a celebrity to me. When I saw you do what you did, I was like, oh my god. I ain't seen no one bring out a physique like this so far that I've been researching. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you're you're doing good. And I know there's a lot of women in the UK that if you was over here, they would want to follow you and, you know, come to your gym or whatever you're training. Because yeah. it's, it's hard. And um, how does yeah, nutrition I, come into it? How, What'd you say? Oh, sorry, you it, both... It, it, went, it went out. Say it one more time. Yeah. Say it one more time. Um, what, how does nutrition come into your training? So um, my nutrition is 100%, basically 100% of my physique and my day. I meal prep every Saturday. Um, what I eat is based around my workout. So I will eat um, for leg day. I will literally have a higher carb than before my leg day because my yeah. legs are very important. Simply because I'm on my feet all day. I walk up maybe seven miles oh. just at work. Um, that doesn't include my training. So my food 
is very important. I drink a two gallons of water a day. Um, my coach has me on macros, so I count like carbs and protein yeah. and fats uh, compared to a meal plan. I get bored with a meal plan. Yeah, um, me too. But because of my metabolism and because of my state of training, I can eat like a garbage disposal. It is kind of. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that's really good though, because when you're burning so much, you just start to eat a lot naturally. That's what I find. Mm -hmm. Like I start eating naturally. That's good. Um, what would you recommend for someone who's training just three times a week? Um, I would recommend for people that's like getting started in three times a week yeah. to really stay consistent, find yourself a goal, and stick to that goal. Do not try to race the other people in the gym do not try to catch up to the other people in the gym or the fitness industry or on social media stay off of social media for focus one. yeah because your your journey and my journey is two different journeys um yeah but the both recently, important i recently had a conversation with somebody and i told them i said they, cause they wanted to catch catch up and i'm gonna catch up with you don't do that yeah, catch up, catch up with yourself. With <laughs> catch up with your own goal because mm. the person I'm trying to catch up to, I didn't already envision that person two years ago. Mm. So I got to catch up to myself. But catch yeah. up to your own goals. It's a it's a marathon. It's not a race. Um, and just focus on you. And if you can get the four days a week, if you can get the five days a week based off your schedule, then do that. Don't try to don't try to push yourself to seven days a week if your schedule does not permit because you still need yeah. to rest at the end of the day mm -hmm. yeah recovery is very important um ifbb pro um when did you get the pro card so i got my pro card july 1st 2021 that's oh! the day i'll never forget so one year anniversary <laughs> hey one that's year, nice the one year anniversary and i did my pro debut one year later so that's why i had to do my that's the show that i did so yeah it was what do you love about it about get about, about being a pro yeah what do you love about it um so i've been wanting my pro card for so long to where when i received it when i earned it i didn't <laughs> it didn't register i was like i'm a pro i'm a pro yeah i'm a pro <laughs> um, I I think the best thing I love about being a pro is the fact that the competition is definitely harder. Um, I have to train different. I have to have a different mindset. But I love it because when I have my IFBB Pro like jacket or my belt or yeah. anything that sit, uh, says I'm a pro, yeah, the people in the gym are like, "Oh my gosh, you're yeah. a pro!" Like that is yeah. so cool. And I'll be like, is this yeah. what I was when I was yeah. an amateur, you know? So I, just, oh, that's I, love, good. I really just more so love, I don't want to say the risk. I love the um the acknowledgement of it. And for I all the hard work. The, yeah, it's of just like you really worked for your pro card. Like you you look like a pro. And that, yeah. that, that really helped me even push more. So that's my motivation is when people say, you look like a pro. I'm like, oh, yeah, I like that. I yeah, like you that. do. You are a pro. You don't look like it. You are. Thank you. Know I mean? you. It's amazing. Um, how how did you feel? You know, when you got to the point where you looked in the mirror and you thought, it's all there. It's all yeah. there. What? How um, did you feel? So I I had this thing where I literally just talked to myself in the mirror. And when I envision a goal for myself, and I actually my goal comes to play, and I see it with my own two eyes, I'll be like, that's me? Yeah! <laughs> that's, that's me! And I was in like, the, like the physique that I have now, I thought, I was like, that's me. And it's, oh. it's, it's mind-blowing, um, but it's more so, I'm, proud, I'm so proud of myself. I am. Oh. Because uh, it wasn't easy, because a lot of people don't a lot of people don't see the darkness of bodybuilding. A lot oh. of people just see the the beauty, the makeup, the shiny suits, the heels, the nails. 
but believe it or not, it's a lot of tears, sweat, and blood yeah. that goes into this sport. And because you have to think as well, outside of just prep, I have life as well. Yeah. So the fact that you have that I was able to push past heartbreaks, losing of my fat, like losing of a very my auntie. So I had mm. to push past that, and yeah. that what made my success even um, more astonishing, more more welcoming, more appreciative. So mm. yeah, you so channeled it in the right way. Mm -hmm. So me channeling <laughs> my life and literally seeing it come out of my body was like. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I could again. do anything. We I could do, do anything. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes when I feel down, I just look at my six pack like, you okay? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You okay, like, man? You know I'm going to just go to sleep. I'm going to just take a nap. Yeah, I'll fine. be fine. I got a six pack. It's all good. You know what I mean? Trust me. Yeah. Oh, you're amazing, man. Tell us about the skincare that you're, um, is that your, your ambassador of um, Prince Skincare? So Prince Skincare is one of my sponsors. Um, yes. They do, so they, um, I have their, I, they face wash, my vitamins, my multivitamins, my digestive enzymes, um, my body butter. That's why my skin looks so flawless. Like I you know, from it does. From <laughs> <laughs> um, right now we're actually doing a giveaway. Well, I'm doing a giveaway on some marshmallow butter and bar marshmallow body oil. And it literally wow. makes it, it's very, the butter, the butter is like, it's very fluffy. And it's oh, so nice. smooth. It is so smooth. I'm going to get um, some. Yes. I'm going to get fact, some. Enter. Enter yeah. the giveaway. And then you may get a chance to, I may just send you one just because. Yeah, so, yeah. I was going to do that. I would love yeah, to. Yeah, just, I definitely, I'll just send you one just because. Just let me, just message, oh, thank send me you. a message with your stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I think they do my skin. I've actually with bodybuilding, I struggle with, that's like adult acne, I guess you could say, um, because of me training Where? and sweat. You well, not, not now. Not I was going to say, your skin look so good. The skin care. The skin care, <laughs> care of it. <laughs> it's working. But, um, but no, so because I train and because I'm outside all day, I literally yeah. wash my face. I have the toner the oil, the serum, and it literally helps my skin stay yeah. hydrated. And, like, the dirt from my boxes and the gym, it it clears it all the way. Oh, mm -hmm. that's amazing. I'm going to look into it, definitely. And people, um, the link's in her bio. Just press the link, and then you can go straight to the um, Prince Skincare um, website and um, grab yourself. Um, Miss Morale here. Miss Morel, shall I say. Hi, sis. She's a comedian in the U.K., she said if you could send her the link to the website. But I've just told you it's in the bio, sis, okay? So go and get your print skincare. Yeah, go, it's, it it's in my bio. It's, it's in the link tree. So you, all you have to do is click yeah. link tree, and it'll take you straight to it. And it has my code, so you get the discount mm -hmm. um, just from my, my bio. You're mm -hmm. welcome. Mwah. I need to come and see you because I need to laugh. This girl, you should check her out. She's amazing. She's funny. I need to follow okay. her. Yeah, she's she's amazing. Um, I read somewhere that your goal was to become um an Olympian figure. Is that still a yes, goal? Yes, that is still a goal. Um, that's always so kind of general generating back to my past when I ran track. I've always wanted to run for the Olympics, but I got and me at the Olympic trials. But I will say now that I'm competing, I I want to be a a figure Olympian. Hopefully. Fingers crossed with God's speed, I can go next year. The goal yeah, you is will. To be there next year. You will. So I'm excited for next season. I'm excited to be a part When will of that the, be? Uh, what month would that be? The, the my next show or for the art for the Olympia. The Olympia. And It'll the next be show. Next December. Next, next December. December. So, so the next the next Olympia will be next December. But my, oh excuse me. My next show mm -hmm. will be next March. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, she said your posts are so inspirational. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I love you. You know, I love this woman. Trust me. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. So next year, I'm gonna text you in November. Like, are you getting ready for Olympia? Then? Oh yes. You're I'm gonna message you. You'll definitely know. You'll definitely. I'm, I'm gonna be sharing everything. Everything you post, I'm gonna share it. Um, tell us about yes. Body Cemetery ATL. 
So Body Symmetry, those are, they just switched over their name to Cell Tech MD. Those are also my sponsors as well. They take care of my blood work. Um, they do my blood work. They do my IV vitamins. And they also make sure that my everything internal is on point. Wow, so, that's amazing. Because with training, with working out, and just putting your body through so much, your hormones could go left. Yeah. So if, your, if you keep your hormones in tra in, intact and everything, that's what they're for. And yeah. they make sure everything on the inside takes care. Is taken I care wish of. I had them. I wish I knew about that before. Um, mm -hmm. I trained so much. Uh, I stopped training for about three months. I got ill and I caught overactive thyroid. So my hormones Ooh. are really inflamed. You can even see it in my neck now. Like, yeah, my if mom I had has someone like that. Your yeah, mom's got it? Hypo. My mom has hypothyroid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What does she do? Yeah. What does so she do? She has, for she's, she's been on medication uh, for the past 30 years. Ooh. But, mm -hmm, she takes a pill every morning for the past 30 years. No. And I didn't even know until maybe 10 years ago that my mother was sick. I didn't even oh, know. But I'm not sick. We're not sick. Are we sick? No, no, no. I mean, okay. When, when, yeah, Don't so scare I, me. When I was younger, I thought okay. she was sick. So, um, what my mother did now, she it's hard for her to work out. She's very tired. She doesn't want to eat or anything. So you have to kind of push past it. Um, yeah. To kind of like force yourself because yeah. Not. I mean, you just wait a lot. Yeah, and the thing is, you can really um, you can reverse it. Honestly, you just yeah, have you to push past it. But if you get like the hormonal therapy, which is what body symmetry cell tech does, yeah, they will definitely it could definitely help you reverse it with the right vitamins, nutrition, and the steps. Mm. Anything that you're on a pill for, you could reverse it. Okay, honestly, because they you told me to take the pills in December last year, and I haven't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm not taking it because my mother, if she doesn't take her medication. Her neck swells. Her like mine. Get her, like her mine. Eyes get like big. I'd be like, girl, you're crazy. Stop staring at me. <laughs> but um, but no, she if she doesn't take it, I can tell when she doesn't take it. But she she's been on it lately. Yeah. Oh uh, well, good. I'm gonna be doing some videos for women like myself and your mom who have over yeah. thyroid because I feel like I'm getting better with my natural herb stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, but. And if you, Keep it natural. If, you, if yeah. you don't want medication, just keep it natural. Yeah. I know too much guys from these, like too much people, uh, superstars, shall I call you guys, superheroes. I know too much underlies for me to take the medication. The, all the information uh -huh. I'm getting, I, I don't think I should take it because of all the information I'm getting from you guys. Do you know what right. I mean? So this is really helping me in my life. So thank you. Yeah. Um, do you, um, I know you're at the gym now, so I'm going to try and shorten the questions, okay? Uh-huh. Because yeah. I'll be like, I want to get the gym. But let's yeah, do a yeah, few questions. Um, I love your cat, by the way. Tux. Thank you, Tessie. <laughs> why, why does he hide and stuff like that? Like, <laughs> I love it. Tuxie. <laughs> He's funny. She likes to play hide and seek. Yeah, I saw she that. I see it come out on the bed like. <laughs> yeah, she likes to play hide. She, she, thinks, she thinks she's invisible. I can see you. <laughs> I can see you. And she's still looking and you're saying that. Like, that's amazing. Like, I, I love animals as well. Um, mm -hmm. Tell us how we can book your services. Um, so I just got to send me a, D a DM and then we'll have a conversation. Of course, we'll exchange email and kind of see, you know, if I'm the fit for you because everybody's not the fit for everybody. Uh. So I will either guide you in the right direction for what you're looking for or I will go ahead and send you my link um, to my emails and everything like that. And you, we, we can go from there as far as booking, getting a consultation, meeting up, prepping and stuff of that nature. Okay, amazing. Um, you train men and women? Yes. Both. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone you want to collab with this year, next year, future? Uh, collab? Mm, I... Will we see any? I really, I really, I just gonna sound crazy, but she is my posing coach and my friend and my teammate. But 
I want to do a leg workout with my with my friend Sydney. <laughs> yeah. And that's Miss Five Time Figure Olympian Champion. Woo! So yeah, I really want to do a leg day video with her. Um I also want to do like a back workout with one of my homeboys, especially the one that just commented, Mr. Yeah. J S Aesthetics. <laughs> <laughs> his his back is his back is Fire. ridiculous. And you know what? That's my favorite place on a man, you know, the back. Mm -hmm. Girl, but now you've made it my favorite place on a woman man, as well. I will, not, I will not date a man if he has a bad back. I know. I know. So Why would you have I a sound. soft back? That it's got to be, so you know. <laughs> don't be yourself, girl. <laughs> <laughs> it don't sound bad. Okay, two more questions. What would you like to see more of in your industry? Um... I would have to say competitor empowerment. Oh, the reason nice. I say that is because we have to be able to support each other, not down each other. I mean, yes, it's a competition. Yes, I understand friendly competition. But really talking down on one another or really just not trying to help one another. I say that because as an amateur, people will reach out to me for help. Or people will reach out to me, and I'm like, well, I'm not a pro. I don't really know, you know, but I told myself before I got my pro card, when I get my pro card, I want to be able to help others, especially other amateurs, other pros. And it don't have to be like I'm charging you to give you some friendly advice. I just want to see you win. Like, I want to see everybody win. And yeah. it kind of hurts me to win people just don't help other people. Like, mm, find out um, yourself. I'm like, yeah, UK's well. Simple question. Like, <laughs> do you eat over chicken? here? Yes or no? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so, good, yeah. and that's what makes you such a superhero to me because that's what people, the real people, want to help for free. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, you've got to get paid, but you, if that's not where your mind's at straight away. You're you're mm -hmm. there from you're there from the heart. You know, this yep. is you live, breathe, eat, sleep, repeat all of this. Yeah. Industry and, as, and, and as a professional, I just feel like as a professional, yes, it charges to put the information, but at the end of the day, I feel like it's okay to have a helping hand. It's um, it's okay to be that extra inspiration for somebody because some people some people that I know when I was growing up, I didn't have the money. I didn't have all of the money. So anybody who helped me, I was grateful. So when yeah, I got older, I'm able to reciprocate that. Like, hey, I remember back about 10 years ago, you helped me with this. Here's the, you know, boom. But you never, yeah. you never know. You never know who you can run into and help. Oh, that's lovely. Mm -hmm. I hope I hope someone I've helped won the lottery and wants to come and see me. Listen, the I'm, trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to win the lottery for that $1 billion. Isn't it? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to win, man. And even if I don't win, I still kind of feel rich inside, only because of the training. It mm -hmm. makes me feel rich, you know. Yeah. Okay, so um, I've got way more questions, but I want you to go train. I don't want to hold you up. So just um, give some advice to women who um, are training Ooh, right now advice. and they want to they want to become uh, similar to you. You know, their goals are to be Olympia figures and be in the industry, be coaches, PTs. What do they need to know? Um, as far as advice is concerned for women, I would have to say trust yourself. Trust yourself, believe in yourself, love yourself first. Because that's really where it boils down to, is you loving yourself. Um, another thing I would have to say is, <clears throat> if you want to get into the industry, you, have no, you, have, you don't have no idea what you're getting yourself into as far as competing, get you a competition coach. Not a personal trainer, a competition coach. Coach. coach it's two different things personal training is just those basic i don't say basic but you know yeah. just a generic trainer from a book a mm -hmm. competition coach has that knowledge but bodybuilding literally goes against all science of what you learn in a nasm personal training book and it yeah it, <laughs> like it does like in the book it tell you to eat three to four times a day yeah. I eat seven meals a day. I eat every two eat. hours. I drink two gallons of water. 
It says you're not. That's over. That's too much water. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. No, you can't. You shouldn't be training this way. You shouldn't be training that way. Bodybuilding is totally different. Um, as far as women, though, I would like I said, love yourself first. Um, it, it's not going to happen unless you love yourself. Don't do it for nobody else. Yes, yes, I'm not a saint, but I will say if you have a heartbreak because men are stupid, uh, go to the gym and do some cardio, and I promise yeah. you, you'll feel so much better afterwards. Uh, um, but find your motivation. Find if you don't have motivation, that's when your discipline kicks in. If you don't have discipline, find something as far as consistency. Just uh, something. Even if you go walking around the park, even if you go around the neighborhood, do something with some fresh air and the and the sun is out. Oh, That's yeah. what I would have to say. Yeah. Just oh, clear your thank mind. Thank you so much. You give me no, goosebumps, man. Ah! Girl. <laughs> thank you so much, man. I really, really appreciate your patience and the fact that you give me the opportunity to find out a bit more oh, about you. Hey. I'm so grateful. Tell your mama said hi. Tell no, Tuxa no. said hi. <laughs> yeah. No, have yeah. a great day in the gym. Yeah. And um. Well. I'm going to share everything you um, post from now on. I'm just going to be sharing it. And my PA is going to share it on Fit Nights Talks as well. So, Thank yeah, you. just have a great year. And I wish you all the best. I'll see you at the Olympia stage. Yes, and I mean, hopefully, hopefully I can get myself to the UK and compete. Yes, when you do, I'm going to be your cheerleader. Yeah, I'm going to be my pop pop. I'll, I'll tell you when I'm coming to the UK. So yeah, you, please we, do. We meet up. I would okay. love to do that. I'm going to take you all around the West End. It's going to be yeah. wicked. Yeah. It'll be oh, me and my mom. It'll oh yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, big mom. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's my right. All right she, then. She, she and and Tux, if you want to, you can bring the cat. It's fine. Oh, no. You know? No? Okay, then fine. Cool. I love animals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you thank so you much so for much. your time. Thank you too. Have a great session. You and have a great day. Bye. Bye.